Hello everyone, this is Angel Vestia here and today we are going to be seeing Merge Sort in C. So Merge Sort is a very efficient sorting mechanism or algorithm you can call it a base with near optimal number comparison. So it works on recursive algorithm that is works under the category of divide and conquer technique. An array of n elements is split around its center for using two smaller arrays. After these two arrays are sorted independently, they can be merged to produce the final sorted array. The process of splitting and merging can be carried recursively till there is only one element in the array. An array with one element is always sorted. So now we are going to be seeing the actual code for this program. So what we are going to do is first divide the list into smallest units and then compare each element with the adjacent list, sort the merge sort and merge the two adjacent lists. Finally, all the elements are sorted and merged. So, we'll be needing a compiler or IDE or any kind of software that you need to write in the code. So, basically, I use Notepad++ for this. So, I just open it up. So, now we are going to be typing the program that is needed for merge sort. First, we'll include the header files. Then, now we're gonna be doing the function declaration for that. So the first declaration is for sorting the elements and next is for merging the elements. So let's do it. So let us declare a variable a or sorry uh, array named a size 30 and other variable n and i okay and let us get the maximum limit for the number of elements which will be the number of So what we are doing here is basically we are getting getting the functions. So what we are doing here is basically asking the user to the enter the maximum limit for the array elements. We are reading it here. So here is a scan of statement. Uh, percentage format specifier for each. And in this, you are asking the user to enter the elements present in that limit. So while getting these elements, you'll need to use the for loop or any loop you wish to do. So I. So now I'm using the reading statement scanner to get the to get the elements.
so the solder array is printed here and for this also we will be using the for loop uh, you, in looping statements you can use any loop here it's your wish so let's i am going for for loop Clearing mid and we are gonna be using a uh, control statement here. So we are going with if I was than J. So mid equals I plus J and we are going to be going to be using the left recursion for this so merge or a i mid and now we are right recursing it so a mid plus one Now the next thing we are gonna do, we are gonna merge it of like we are merging two subsorders arrays. Merge make my i med plus one. the merging function over here so merge function goes over here and declaring our a able i1 i j1 i2 So we are declaring a temporary variable uh, or I should say the array of size 50 temp is used for merging actual merging take place so that is then we are declaring three variables okay. So after declaring the three variables, we are gonna sign i is equal to i1 and j is equal to j2 and assign k is equal to 0. So when i is equal to i1, the beginning of the first list is taken and then j is equal to j2, the beginning of the second list is taken. For performing loop with both the uh, lists, we will be using uh, while loop. So I less than equal to J1 and J less than equal to So you are using a control statement if here if A of i is less than a of j temp k increment and a of i increment else Increment or J increment. 
so if it satisfies the condition k is incremented and then i is incremented or else k is incremented and j variables incremented so we'll close the loop and we'll be using another loop for copying the remaining elements of the first list so i is less than equal to j1 term demand k plus plus equal k of so there will be like a element sorry we'll loop this is the Okay, increment equals a j variables incremented. So the final part will be using another loop, but this time it's for loop for i is equal to one i one and j is equal to zero. I is less than equal to j2 I plus plus j plus so basically the way we are doing this is that it is used for transfer elements from temp back to the element of array again so next thing we'll be doing is sign a I equals so we have come to the end of the program and we will look the overview of this so first we are declaring the merge sorting function and merging function first you sort it and then you'll merge it so we are declaring the function and we are reading the elements basically another declaration take place and uh, you are reading the limit reading the actual number of elements getting through it a for loop then sorting function then you'll uh, you'll print the sorted array for sorting function you're defining it you're defining it then you'll initialize some mid mid variable and another condition if condition is used for like a is less than j mid equals i plus j divided by 2 so the pointer comes to the center and the sorting mechanism takes place for is a comma i mid and a comma mid plus 1 comma j and you are merging it now for actual merge to take place you are defining the another declaration that you already did print previously so now we are you need to declare a temporary array of size 50 and all three variables i j k and you're assigning i1 is equal to i you're assigning i1 is your right basically using many assignment operator you'll be assigning from right to left so j2 is equal to j 0 is equal to k and you're using a while loop for i less than is equal to j1 uh, this loop is used to for in both lists uh, and if a is i a of i less than h a k plus plus increment first you'll be incrementing the i variable then j or else if this not satisfied it will j will be incremented and if you need to, co to copy the remaining elements of the first list you are using this loop and uh, to copy the remaining second list you are using this loop and the final loop is to transfer elements from temporary array to the actual array a uh, so you need to remember these first is used for left recursion then this is for use for right recursion this is used for merging two arrays that is sort of subarrays two sort of subarrays actually i just explained basically the outline of the program and now vijay will explain it through algorithm method he will just explain the algorithm how this works like a branching tree it works actually so I'll be explaining it by writing it actually manually writing it down so my part is over uh thanks for watching guys